say, I would say 10 seconds probably. I think he'll probably have the recording uh, mechanism functioning, so okay. it will be just, good. Just tell me start and I'll, I'll start. All right. Reese? Go ahead, Eric, whenever you're ready, if we're recording. Okay. Uh, good afternoon and welcome to today's uh, webinar. I'm Eric Tidke and I'm in charge of the TDA Financial Services Insurance Program. The TDA Financial Services Insurance, Insurance Program is the exclusive broker and agent record for all the insurance programs um, through financial services or the TDA Perks Program which is a wholly owned affiliate of the Texas Dental Association. Um, so essentially we uh, act as an insurance agency for TDA perks, providing in insurance products and services on behalf of TDA members, their staff and dental students. And we've enjoyed this relationship for 17 years. Um, today, uh, it's my pleasure to introduce to you John Ryan, who's a CFP, Certified Financial Planner. He's the founder and CEO of Ryan Insurance Strategy Consultants. They are the insurance plan administrators, or they are insurance plan administrators specializing in underwriting national associations and state associations for life, disability, and other uh, benefit plans. Uh, today, John is going to go over a, a new unique program that we're very excited about, um, offering members a guaranteed disability and life insurance coverage. And so, uh, without further ado, John, if you want to uh, start and take over the uh, slideshow. I appreciate it, Eric. Thank you very much. I'm excited to uh, be working with you on this new venture for the Texas Dental Association. And um, I don't know if you know this, Eric, but I wrote my first uh, group insurance plan on a dentist in 1980 when my mentor, John Hamner, was uh, administrator for the Colorado Dental Association. And so ever since then, I've, I've had my hand in uh, association uh, insurance programs for professional um, associations so it's nice to be able to offer something that's um, unique and different to the Texas Dental Association I can say unequivocally that there's no other dental association plan in the country like this one um, I mean where else can a dentist get 6,000 a month of disability coverage or 150,000 um, of um, term life insurance coverage with no questions asked and do so on a voluntary basis where they don't have to be part of an employer group or other type of group where they can do this one off and get this kind of coverage, um, quality coverage um, at good prices on a voluntary basis. It's, um, it's, it's unheard of in the, in the dental industry and we're, we're excited to bring this unique program to Texas. Uh, so let's just start with, if you have any questions, there is a question box. Um, and I'm assuming that that is uh, visible to those that are listening in. Uh, and if you have questions, please feel free to ask them in the question box, type those in. We will get to your questions at the end of my presentation, which should take about 20 minutes. Um, so just be heads up on that. Um, uh, I'm hoping that um, we're thorough enough in the presentation where there won't be a lot of questions. Um, but if there are, if you have, if there's something we did not address, um, please um, uh, speak up. Uh, Eric's already given you sort of the lowdown on what TDA financial services uh, insurance programs are all about. Uh, he also told you a little bit about us. Uh, been around since 1978, and we help um, associations. Uh, create and manage their benefit plans on behalf of their members. Um, so there's uh, Eric's organization and mine are involved. There's also a third organization involved, and that's Standard Insurance Company. I show here their ratings as of June 2016. They are one of the nation's leading provider of uh, disability and term life insurance to um, large groups and associations. And so we're very excited. Uh, to have standard uh, backing up the promises that get made in these contracts. Uh, we've been working with standard on the association uh, basis since January of 2006, and we've been very excited about the uh, uh, not only the benefits that we've been able to design and improve, but also um, the comments we get from those that have to make a claim. 
they, they feel um, that standard is, is very fair in the claims process, which is extremely important to all of us. Uh, as you know, the open enrollment is July 17th through August 31st. It's guaranteed accepted for all eligible TDA uh, members that are practicing as a dentist and at a minimum of uh, 30 hours a week. Uh, you, there's obviously the website there, tdagroupbenefits.com, at the bottom of the page. That'll be your go-to website to learn more about the programs. There's an excellent FAQ section there. There's a calculator where you can fiddle with the calculator and kind of get a sense of what your premiums and benefits would be. And then the electronic um, uh, secure uh, enrollment form, um, which helps you uh, uh, become uh, to, to, to enroll into the program. Um, just some highlights to this group disability plan, which we're talking about first, and we'll get to the term life insurance program in a little bit. Um, but as I mentioned already, this is a very unique group disability pro program. It's unlike anything that the ADA or the AAO or any of the other major uh, so dental associations have come up with. Um, uh, this is really a very, very unique. Uh, premiums, we'll get to this in another slide, but as you'll be able to see, the premiums for this program are 30 to 50% lower than what one would pay for comparable coverage with an individual um, disability policy. And we all know that individual and group insurance uh, policies are, they do have their differences, uh, but um, they have their similarities as well, and we'll get into that a little bit. Uh, no medical questions asked, no exam, no blood work, and, uh, and it's, it's easy to enroll. Um, I think it takes less than three minutes to go into our, um, the website and actually fill out your form and submit to get your um, uh, information into the system and get coverage started as soon as possible. Um, just a, some snapshots here, uh, bullet points on the group disability plan. Those of you that are uh, that see this, this all, looks all very familiar to you. Typical disability insurance plan design. Uh, there's no medical questions asked, which is which is different. However, you have a choice of plan A, which is a three thousand a month benefit maximum. And Plan B is 6000 a month benefit maximum. The plans themselves are identical, except for the benefit maximum of three and six. Otherwise, the pricing and the definitions and so forth and the guarantees are all identical. Um, the policy uh, pays 60%, will insure 60% of your pre-disability earnings up to those maximums I just mentioned. Um, benefits begin after a 90-day um, sickness or injury that's either totally or partially affecting your ability to perform dentistry. There's an own occupation uh, protection for the entire benefit period. Um, benefit period is Social Security normal retirement age. Uh, there are partial disability benefits included and once you enroll in the plan and as your income increases you'll have the ability to go in and increase your benefits based on your higher income no questions asked. There's also an additional 20% assisted living benefit, which is like a, um, a long-term care insurance benefit that's paid in addition to the three and the $6,000 benefit maximums I've already mentioned. And that's payable um, if you need care at home or in a facility, um, that helps provide some relief for those costs so that the 3,000 or the 6,000 a month benefit can be payable to your family to help them maintain their lifestyle. As I mentioned already, it's an own occupation definition of disability. Uh, own occupation definition requires either an earnings loss of 20% or more, or an inability to perform the material duties of your own occupation. There's also a partial disability benefit included, sometimes referred to as a residual benefit. And that triggers a a benefit to you, to you uh, once you are unable to earn at least 80% of what you used to earn as a dentist. Um, I talked a little bit earlier about um, how how what a value this is price-wise compared to an individual, a typical individual DI plan. So we created this chart for you, page 10. Um, and you can see that a 40-year-old uh, a uh, male or female dentist for a 6,000 a month benefit program pays 184 a month. 
Um, individual non-CAN um, is 340 a month for a male and 520 a month for a female. Um, uh, and also we have the ADA rates featured and the ADA rates are after the projected, not guaranteed, but projected premium discounts that they, that they give. Uh, and you can see that we're quite a bit less expensive than individual coverage. And about um, on the same page as, um, as the ADA rates. And you would expect us to be a little bit more expensive in some cases to the ADA program because um, we offer the, obviously, the guaranteed issue benefits, no questions asked. Uh, whereas it's full underwriting with the ADA program. So there is some give and take there, but I think our pricing is very, very strong. I'm not suggesting, by the way, that um, a dentist shouldn't consider purchasing some individual disability coverage. I think that's very important because there are some things that an individual disability policy can do that a group policy cannot one of the most important is that you have a guaranteed premium and a guaranteed contract that cannot change and can never be canceled by the insurer. You don't get those guarantees with most group plans. So I believe that a combination of individual and group uh, disability insurance is probably the best um, uh, premium to benefit ratio, best value that you can recreate. Uh, and uh, Eric has, um, uh, sales uh, advisors, uh, insurance advisors throughout the state of Texas that can coach dentists on how to package the individual protection with a uh, supplemental group plan to create the best, uh, uh, best value. Um, we are insuring earnings, obviously, and so this slide is very important in helping the dentist understand what his or her uh, income is that will be insured. That's slide number 11, and it talks about um, uh, how we define income. So when you are enrolling into the program, uh, you'll know what income to enter in order to generate the benefits you deserve. Uh, slide 12 talks about most common benefit offsets. And one of the first ones is work earnings. And I want to talk about that for a minute. Um, some disability policies, and I'll, this goes back to the individual disability plan, some disability policies um, will not offset work earnings you have if you are disabled as a dentist but engage in a separate, entirely unrelated occupation. For instance, a dentist that gets disabled can no longer perform dentistry, but enters into the real estate industry and after a period of time is earning a significant amount of income. Uh, that is one of the selling points to an individual disability policy. I'm not quite sure how often that actually occurs where a dentist will get disabled in dentistry and still make a significant income somewhere else, but the plan we have here works slightly differently. In the first 12 months of a claim, if you do, in, if you do have earnings uh, from a um, separate occupation, your earnings plus your benefits from our plan, uh, there'll be no benefit offset until your earnings plus the benefits you receive exceed 100% of what you used to earn. And that's for the first 12 months. Now, after 12 months, whatever earnings you receive um, there will be a 50% benefit offset. Um, if you have a 6,000 a month benefit, then obviously um, if you were to earn 6,000 in income, you would have a 50% offset. So your benefit would be 3,000 a month if you started with a 6,000 a month benefit. If, for instance, you change careers and you now have a 12,000 a month income, well, 50% of 12,000 a month is 6,000. If you started with a 6,000 a month benefit with the TDA plan, you would basically have no benefit from the TDA plan. However, you would have a $12,000 a month income doing something else. Um, and so since this plan is designed to um, protect loss of earnings, um, if you have a loss, it's fantastic. If you have a partial loss, it's great. If you don't have a loss of income, then um, this plan uh, is, is not going to pay. Um, individual plans might. 
um, but I think in the real world, it, uh, it's rare that, um, that those plans actually pay uh, in that circumstance because I don't think it's likely that dentists get disabled in dentistry and are able to earn a, a significant income elsewhere. I know it happens. I've had it happen to some of my dental clients, but it's, um, it's rare that that does occur. Now, there are other earnings and benefits that do not offset the benefits under the TDA plan, and those are benefits received from an individual policy. If you have an individual policy and you're wondering, you know, would this be a good supplement, it absolutely would be a good supplement. Um, however, um, and the reason we have a plan A and a plan B, which is the 3,000 and 6,000 uh, option for a dentist, is if, you're, um, if you have individual coverage and you add the TDA group coverage, um, there'll be no offset with our plan, with the TDA plan, unless those two benefits combined exceed 80% of your monthly earnings. If there is an excess, then the TDA plan will reduce dollar for dollar by the excess. Um, so, to give an example, if you've got a $20,000 a month income and you have a $10,000 a month individual policy already or combination of policies that add up to $10,000 a month, you can add $6,000 of the TDA plan. That would bring you to $16,000. That is 80% of 20. There would be no offset if you had a claim. So, you'd be perfectly fine in that scenario. Now, um, alternatively, if you have a 20,000 income and you have 12,000 of individual disability coverage and you get six with TDA, that puts you at 18. Now that's over the 80% by 2,000 a month. So the TDA benefit wouldn't pay you six, it would pay you four. Uh, your individual coverage would pay you 12 and that would bring you back to the 80%. So that's important to keep in mind. Um, the other, uh, other incomes that don't offset our rental and royalty and interest income. Also, it's important to know that if you sell your dental practice because of a disability and those payments to you are labeled as capital gains payments, um, the TDA disability plan does not offset its benefits by capital gains income. So it would be important for you to consider structuring those payments as capital gains as opposed to um, ordinary income. Um, uh, I am also going to spend some time talking about the pre-existing conditions exclusion. Some of you may be wondering, this is too good to be true. How can a company, how can an insurance company give away this kind of benefit, no questions asked, uh, to the dental community? And one of the things that the company uses uh, to protect itself is a pre-existing conditions exclusion. And what it says is any mental or physical condition for which a member has done any of the following within the three months immediately prior to the insurance becoming effective um, will not be covered until that member has been insured under the TDA plan for 12 consecutive months. Consulted a physician or other licensed medical professional, received medical treatment, services, or advice, undergone diagnostic procedures, including self-administered procedures, and taken prescribed medications or drugs. Now, once you're insured for 12 months, there's no pre-ex. And you can continue to receive treatment during those 12 months. And so the only condition is that you're insured for 12 months, that you're an eligible member, and that you not file a claim within those 12 months. After that, and that's the protection that the insurance company builds in to protect itself against um, uh, adverse selection early on in the program. So it's very important for you to understand how that, how that works. Um, disability that are not covered. Um, mental or physical conditions that result from a war of active war, intentionally self-inflicted uh, injuries or illnesses from uh, attempting to commit an assault, a felony, uh, loss of occupational or professional license. And obviously, as I just mentioned, those conditions that are subject to the pre-existing conditions exclusion. Um, it's just as important to know what's not covered in your insurance programs as it is to know what is covered. And so that's kind of why we're focusing so heavily on this now. Mental, and, mental disorder, substance abuse limitation, it's 24 months per incident. 
that's better than a lot of other policies which say it's a 24 month lifetime maximum. So you could have a loss for a mental disorder or substance abuse. You could have a, uh, a, t a 24 month claim. You could get well. You might relapse or have another problem three years later. You get a new 24 months. Um, so uh, obviously the 24 months doesn't apply if you're hospital confined. So it is a per incident limitation, um, which is the better of the two limitations. Um, and so before I go on to the term life, I just want to say if you have any questions that you don't think were addressed there uh, in that presentation about the LTD, please type in your questions now and we'll get to those um, when I conclude the discussion on the term life insurance, which is next. Um, also part of the package is a guaranteed issue term life insurance program for members. We're on slide 17. Uh, it's a total of 300,000 of potential coverage, actually even more than that if you get the family coverage. It's 150,000 term life that is payable for um, any sickness or injury and 150,000 additional for any uh, if, there, if, you have, if you die from accidental death or dismemberment. Um, it's guaranteed issue coverage. Um, you can also get coverage on spouse, 50,000, up to 50,000, and each child, 10,000 a month. Uh, there's no medical questions or exams during the open enrollment for the term life. Now, uh, if, you're, if you're wondering, can you get more coverage than that? Uh, yes, you can. You can get an individual term life insurance policy if you'd like. Um, those are available upon request. Uh, for instance, a male age 40 can get a $2 million policy with a 20-year rate guarantee for $97 a month. A female would pay about $81 a month, just for instance. If you have a 50-year-old and you want an extra $2 million of coverage, a male would pay about $290 a month. A female would pay about $200 a month and those rates would be fixed for 20 years. So surplus term life is available. And going back to the disability insurance, if you, um, if you want more coverage than the 6,000 that's being offered through the TDA, upon request, uh, custom uh, individual uh, disability quotes can be prepared for you. Um, here's, how, here's what happens as you age with the term life. Um, up till age 64, um, there's no change in the benefit limits. At age 65 to 69, you can see the benefit reduces to 97.5. At age 70, it reduces to 75,000. And at age 75, it reduces to 52.5. That assumes you started out with, well, I guess it's required that you, you buy the 150. Um, so that's how benefits under the term life will reduce once you hit 65, and the premiums will be adjusted accordingly. Uh, just to give you an idea of what those premiums look like, um, this is uh, a dentist getting the full 150,000 base plus 150 term life, uh, 50,000 on a spouse, and 10,000 on a child on the, as many children as they have. Um, it, uh, a 45-year-old male or female dentist would pay just under $30 a month for that kind of coverage, no questions asked. 50-year-old, uh, 35 roughly a month, and 55-year-old about $77 a month. Those are very reasonable premiums for coverage that's so easily accessible with no questions asked. Uh, how to apply, um, you do it before August 31st, uh, don't procrastinate. Um, you go to tdagroupbenefits.com. That website has both the disability and the term life information that you need. Um, we think we've answered just about every question you could have, but if not, you can also email us and text us and uh, let us know what questions um, you have that have not been addressed. Uh, if you're not a TDA member, um, join. Uh, once you prove to us that you're a member and you have a member ID, then you're eligible for the insurance, assuming you're working 30 hours a week. Uh, once the application is submitted, uh, you'll get a confirmation. Coverage will become effective September 1st, assuming that we get enough TDA members to enroll in this initial open enrollment uh, so as to satisfy standard insurance companies 
uh, risk tolerance for the group. Uh, we will know that uh, towards the end of August what our numbers are. Uh, hopefully we, we have enough enroll, we get the word out. Um, uh, and so uh, if not for some reason we don't, then those that enroll will be, will be notified um, of that status. The premiums are taken out of your checking account of your choice on, on or before the fifth of each month. That's done automatically. That's something you do when you go in and enroll. You give us the banking information. All of this is highly secure and protected with cybersecurity measures that we're taking. Um, so um, you can uh, be, be rest assured we're taking the necessary uh, precautions to protect your information. And incidentally, any information that uh, Eric's organization or my organization receives uh, regarding your enrollment into these TDA plans will be used for no other reason other than your qualification for these plans. We don't sell this information, we don't hand it out, we don't share it. It's just for us to be able to help you um, get enrolled into the programs. Um, other sources that we have, you know, again, is tdagroupbenefits.com. In there, you'll find the disability and term life premium and benefit calculators, which are interesting for you to be able to go in and find out uh, what, your, what your costs and benefits will be now. You can also make yourself older to see, you know, in the future, how likely are your rates to change because, you know, it's not just today's rates, it's rates, you know, 5, 10, 15, 20 years from now that you're interested in. The very excellent FAQ that we've built. And then again, if there's anything we don't um, address, on the website, then please uh, feel free to reach out to us um, uh, at that number. So I believe um, I'm out of breath and I'm out of information. I, I, I think we've covered a great deal, probably most um, everything that a, um, a, a, a prospective member might um, want to know. But um, if there are any questions, um, and Reese, I don't know if we have any, or Eric, um, if any questions have come um, in, or do we have any? I, I don't see that there's any one other. Yeah, I was going to ask, uh, uh, well, actually, what a great job, John. Thank you for doing such a thorough um, uh, job on that. Um, sure. And this, uh, just FYI, if someone wants to re-listen, we'll get this. Um, it's being recorded, and it'll be posted. Um, on the website, so if we went over something too quickly or you wanted to hear something again, um, you'll be able to do that, and um, we're available again from okay. an email standpoint or phone call if a question comes up, but I, I don't see any questions that anyone had typed in at this point. Okay, yeah, we, we you know, Eric, we, you know, you and I, we did a good job at kind of, I think, with the uh, slides, because I think, uh, you know, most of the, we're used to getting questions, and I think we did answer most of them, um, mm -hmm. but, you know, people might forget, or they might want to be reassured, they might want to talk to somebody one-on-one, -on -one. but yes, thanks for mentioning that the uh, webinar um, slides and the audio will be posted. So uh, make sure you um, get the word out to your friends and colleagues that there's something very unique that's taking place at the benefit level at, at TDA. And we look forward to helping you uh, understand these plans better and, um, and look forward to uh, helping you um, protect your most valuable asset, which is your ability to work and, and earn a living. So with that, um, Thank you. Thank you, Eric, Reese, Clay. Thank you, everybody. And yes. um, thank you, John. I look forward. Yep, you betcha. Bye bye.